foot in it. You better get somebody to call it. That ball was a foot in. Did you guys see it? And was it even close? That's out. Well, we better, we better get somebody to call them, or I'm, I can't play this way, Sonny. That ball hit the line. Those other two you called out were at least a foot and a half inside. Well, that was I out. That I was can't out play there. that way. That was out. That hit the line. I saw it hit the line. He saw it hit the line. Wait, I'll judge it. it. I'll wait a second. Now, I, I, don't, I don't think I, I, I'm not accusing you of cheating. You just can't see. here. What is he? You keep hitting it in? I don't know that much about tennis. My first day here. I keep hitting it in. He calls it out. Is he supposed to do that? No. Sonny, are you doing this on spite? No, I know why he's doing it. You know why he's doing it? Because he's trying to get you to smile. I've been smiling all day. You haven't. You've been mean to me. You haven't been smiling <laughs> for the camera, though. You know why? Why? I'm See, on camera. This is candid camera. Are you serious? There's the camera up in that hill. I saw over. that thing. I couldn't figure out what it was. Well, the camera's up over there. That's what <laughs> <laughs> This is Robert. I'm trying to get to the root of the candid camera video that we just saw. Um, hello, Sonny. How are you doing? All right, Dr. Raleigh. Thank you so much for uh, interviewing me. It's very seldom that I ever get interviewed, so uh, please start off with whatever question you might have and see if I can answer it for you. Well, now, my understanding is that you were in the video, that you're actually the tennis player that's calling all the balls out. How, how did that come to happen? Well, it turned out that there was a, a Chamber of Commerce man in Savannah, and I can almost think of his name, but uh, if I think of it later, I'll tell you. He went to New York and got Savannah involved in not just Candid Camera, but several other things. And uh, he came back and said, there's only one person that I can think of that would irritate 
some of his best friends at tennis. And of course one of the first ones was Dr. Harry Rawlings. And Dr. Rawlings said to me, uh, Sonny, are you, are you going to continue to call the ball out when it's good? And I said, Dr. Rawlings, if the ball is out, then I call it out. If it's good, I call it in. And he said, but there's something wrong with your eyesight. You, d you simply don't see it the way I do. And I think you better go to a good oculist or optometrist or whatever they call an eye doctor and get some new eyes because you certainly need it. Well, now, now so, you, you told me that, that my dad uh, gave you some chocolates in the hospital. Tell me more about that. Oh, yeah. Well, I had an appendicitis uh, um, operation at Old St. Joseph's, and uh, Dr. Rawlings came in and said, Sonny, uh, I just want you to know that uh, we're still friends, and I brought you this box of Whitman Sampler and their chocolates, and I said, well, Dr. Rawlings, uh, or may I call you Harry? Harry, you brought me four little pieces of chocolate and you've already bitten into them. I want the whole box that has the top and the bottom that has different kinds of chocolates. And he said, Sonny, after you made an ass out of me in front of millions of people, nobody has ever done that in the history of my life. And I'm going to tell Irma Lee about it and I'm going to tell every one of my children about what you did to me. Now here, here's the candy. So I took a bite out of all of them and ate all four of them. And he said, well, good enough for you. Give me five and shook hands and we left. I love it. I love it. Well, now, you were in all of these uh, Candy Camera episodes. Who were the other people that were in it? Um, well, the first one that I think you might have seen is named... W.W. W. Gordon. We called him B. Gordon. He's a member of the old Gordon family in Savannah. And uh, incidentally, he was born with a speech impediment and also could not hear. But he developed a great sense of, uh, of playing tennis and uh, flying an airplane and painting. And he was a very fine man and very tall and thin, and you'll see him in this picture. So when I called the ball out on, on Mr. B. Gordon, uh, he looked at me and said, Sonny, what? <laughs> I've been playing tennis with you for 50, 20 years, and all of a sudden you start calling, you don't know, you don't know how, how it affects me. And uh, I can take just so much. And I said, Mr. Gordon, there's a man right here, and he'll come over and talk to you. So the man came over and said, Mr. Gordon, uh, did you know that you're on Candid Camera? And he said, I don't give a damn about Candid Camera. All I care about is Sonny Clark calling that ball out, and he and I have been playing singles and doubles and been friends for years. And then I come out here and he calls him up. And the man said, Mr. Gordon, did you realize that you'll get a check for $50? And he said, oh boy, that's fine. That's very good. Well, now, how about Dr. Angel and Dr. Dr. Schley? Angel. Well, Dr. Angel and I, incidentally, I called him and told him about this. So, uh, when he was on there, uh, he had a complete white outfit, uh, just dressed for tennis. Because I told him, I said, uh, John, just come up in the morning. We're going to have an hour or so between people that come up. And he dressed up like, you know, going to Wimbledon. And I called the ball out, and he said, all right, Sonny, okay, I'll get you, I'll get you, don't worry. Sooner or later, I'm going to get you, and I know exactly you're doing this for meanness, because I always thought, I thought you were a nice guy, but now I think you were, you've got a mean streak in you, and it's coming out right now. And then the man comes over and says, have you been on candy camera? That's great. And then Dick Sly, he's a doctor. Uh, a uh, pediatrician. Dick Sly is, uh, <laughs> it's hard to, to tell you what he's like. Uh, he's the oldest son of uh, Larkham Sly and Mrs. Sly, and he has a brother named uh, Cooper Sly. But he became a doctor, went to Princeton, and uh, became, went in the war, and came out of it as a brigadier general, and I got him out there. And he said, you call that son of a bitch 
And that's why it was you, such a that you short call, segment. You call that asshole. What the hell are you doing to me? And he was noted for using wonderful words on the tennis court like if you if you made a, a good shot, if he made a good shot and you returned it and he we won it, he would say, Mother and everyone said, Isn't it nice of Dick to remember his mother on the tennis court? However, uh, he would not be thinking of his mother then. It was another mother that he was talking about. That's great. And he was that way. And then we had another, that's uh, three doctors, uh, Dr. Rollins, Dr. Sy, Dr. Angel, and uh, Mr. Gordon, W.W. W. Gordon. Then we had a man named uh, Abe Eisman. Abe Eisman uh, came out. He won, uh, won our group of, of tennis players, but I used to play with him at Daffin Park. And, uh, and he was uh, a very uh, interesting person. He ran for president of the United States once and got two, two votes. Oh, that's great. And it, it was a nice guy. And so he got out there and he said, uh, uh, Sonny, I can take just so much. Now you, you've invited me out here. I'm your guest. And you have called the ball out when I know it was good. If that gives you pleasure, go ahead and take it. If that if that pleasures you, that's all right with me. That's Whatever great. will make you happy. <laughs> and uh, and he said, remember we played at Daffin Park, but now we're playing at the golf club, and I'm very impressed with the golf club because only I I get out here because you invite me. But uh, I'm so glad the man came up and said you on candid camera, and here's a check. You will get a check for fifty dollars. Now the last player was... One person was, was named Johnny Fishback. Yeah. Is it Fishback? And Johnny Fishback said, Sonny, how much, how much more can I take? He said, I'm almost at the point I'm going to cry. You'll call it out, out, out. And just like Abe Eisman, he said, now, I'm your guest here. And uh, you played with me down at Tybee at the beach. You played played me out at the at Daffin Park. You played me way out at Bacon Park, but you have never called these balls out. What is what is going wrong with you? What what's in your mind? Are you having fun doing this? And I said, Johnny, tell the man over there, ask him what what he is. He said, Mister, come over here. And the man said, Now come on. Are you are you uh, acquainted with Sonny? Yes, I know Sonny Clark. And he said, Well. You're on candid camera. And he said, oh. I wondered what that thing was over there. There was a, a big uh, a van with a, a, a zoom lens. And uh, he said, I wondered about that. He said, Sonny, I'll never forget this for you. And uh, thank you for having me as your guest, too. Oh, this is wonderful. I can't <laughs> wait to share this with my sisters and the rest of my family. Mm, good. Well, I just wanted to thank you again. and uh, oh, fine. I appreciate it very much.